We have we have natural hair going on. It is huge. This is huge. This is what a non-blow-dried, non-straightening hair day is for me. Are we loving this look? welcome back to my channel today I want to do an all-natural no makeup makeup look right. because so when you're doing a no makeup look you want to obviously make it look like this is your natural skin you're not wearing anything for this look I suggest using a cream cream concealer that isn't that isn't going to show like a liquid wood so for example when you do any kind of uh, full look, you put on your foundation, then you go in with a creamy concealer, you know, something like this. It's gonna look liquidy, it's gonna bring glow to your skin, but naturally you wouldn't have that, correct? So, for those, I love the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. So I have the one in NC35 right over here. This one's really good. Um, it'll, it will blend in well with my skin. I also do think the dream brightening creamy concealer from this one's from maybelline this one works really well too since this one's a creamier product i would use this under the eye because under the eye is where you're going to need more of the cream products if you have any sort of blemish that you need to cover up like here or let's say here i would suggest using the mac studio finish let's go ahead and take the creamy concealer first and pop it right underneath I'm going to go ahead and just use my hands to work that in I actually find using your hands especially with concealers works really really well oh I also did put it around my uh, lip area too because I tend to get hyperpigmentation in this area and this area should also be a little bit more moisturized once you have that blended into your skin go ahead and take your cream concealer that's a little bit more or I guess less moisturizing and work it over any spots you have on your face a tip you should not be using your creamy concealers to spot um, correct I mean you can but you don't want it to look more hydrating on top next you want to go in for the brows so you don't want to actually put in any product that's going to show up a lot what i like to do is just take the spoolie and then just brush out my uh, brows so they're neater and not all over the place after you're done combing them through this would be the perfect time to take a clear um, brow product. I unfortunately don't have a clear, so I'm gonna use a very tiny bit of the Brow Wiz Gel that I usually do by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just gonna put it in Next, there. I think it's important to give the eyes a little definition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do mascara, but I'm not going to curl my lashes. I'm just going to take uh, the mascara that I have, the huge wand by Stilla, and I'm just going to put them like this. I'm going to take a little bit of uh, a little bit of blush. This one is the Makeup Forever Blush Cream. Kind of work it in a wide area because you want this to look natural to your skin. So if it's only in like one specific area like this, it's not going to look very natural. And take a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit and just kind of put it right on your nose there as well. See, that blends in with your color. I like to do a little bit kind of all over, a little, little, little bit on the forehead and a little bit on the cheek. Lastly, we're going to do the lips now. I have a few different options for you guys. So the first option actually is something that I already have on my lip. It's a clear gloss lip plumper. It's great for um, every day and it helps plump your lips up. It does have absolutely no color in it though. So if you want, you can leave it this way. This was This is very natural looking. Or if you want, you can go in with a colored um, lip cream. So this one's from Revlon. It's called the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. It's a light peach shade. And there is your first. Right. The second option is actually my favorite option. I do this if I'm going to the gym or if I really want it to look like I'm not wearing anything on my lips but still have something on there. So what I'll do is I'll take like a really bright colored lipstick, right? 
So this one is my absolute favorite. This is the YSL La Rouge in number one in Blood Red. Super, super, super pigmented. What you wanna do with this is just take it and then just dab it onto your lips like this. After you get that just dabbed on there, take a Kleenex and just rub it off basically. So look how much of the product I actually took off. So for the third option, you're going to need two things. You're going to need a super deep matte lipstick and then you're going to need a, um, a makeup remover wipe. You take the lipstick and you're gonna apply it all over. All right, when that lipstick dries down completely, take your makeup wipe and then remove it. When you remove that lipstick, what you have is a nice stain that's left behind. The reason I actually really like this is I know it's similar. The result is similar to the second option where you just dab the lipstick on, but with this, it's actually nothing is on your actual lip. It's just the color that's left behind. So with the second option, you can actually still have a little bit of lipstick on there and then it can actually transfer and remove. With this, you're actually left behind with a stain and it looks really nice and it looks really, um, like it doesn't look like you have any product on your lip, you just have color, which is super, super great for this look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it easy to do. I hope you are subscribed. Um, and I will see you later with another look.